Welcome to sunny San Diego, California. My name is Jacob and welcome back to another luxury home tour. Today, we're gonna to be touring this lovely home right behind me. This is gonna be the Savenza model home featuring 6,100 square feet, five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, and a ton of open space. Priced right at $4.99 million. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you notice when you're stepping into this luxurious home, is these massive glass windows that go all the way up to your 25 foot ceilings. And then also you're gonna notice this massive motor court right here over up on the front. I'd say you can probably fit six cars alone just on this motor court. You can fit about two here, two there, two there. And then you got your four car garage spaces featured again with those modern glass panels, which I think absolutely just really add to the contemporary look of this home. And then as we're coming up, you're also gonna notice the colorful plant life and the bright shrubs that are coming around. And then as you're entering, you got this massive doorway. I mean, guys, I'm 6'3", right? And just, just look at the size of that. That's, That's crazy. Big door. Let's go inside. So look at this, guys, my God. We got a lot of house to tour today, so please stick around, all right? Also, subscribe, like the video, comment. You're helping out my channel, guys. Now, let's begin. So when you're first walking into this insane mansion, you know, you're gonna notice you probably got, I mean, those are probably like 25 foot tall ceilings, which are absolutely phenomenal. And then you got this contemporary kind of solar system design on your chandelier, which I think absolutely just, it really ties that modern look together, guys. And then of course, again, you've got the modern floating staircases again with the glass railing. Let's go ahead and take a look in the first room of this home. So we're also gonna notice some of that modern artwork as you're coming on in. And then we come into the guest bedroom featured on the first floor. And I mean, for a guest bedroom, this is absolutely massive. This is probably like the same size as a master bedroom in my opinion, but you see we got the seating area which complements the mounted TV right there. And then again, you know you're coming in here and you've got your floating shelving designs. And then also, you're gonna notice more of that custom wooden flooring. You step into the bathroom and then you see that nice transition over into the tile. Coming in here, we're gonna notice more of those contemporary light fixtures. I just love, I just love the design of how they kind of hang from the top. I think that looks very beautiful. And then we're gonna head into this massive closet space. So this is really nice because it's a full walk-in closet, especially for the guest bedroom. You know, they can have you know, more than enough space for all their stuff, especially if they're just visiting for a couple days. Super great space, I like it. Let's continue outside. And again, you got some more of that contemporary artwork. And then let's go ahead and head out here. And then we're gonna have the half bathroom, which is featured right in here. So stepping in here to this half bathroom, we're gonna notice a smooth pebble design featured upon the walls. Nice and minimalistic here in this bathroom. Let's go ahead and head outside. And then right here, we have the two car garage space. So pretty simple, self-explanatory. We got a nice clean design, kind of just the white paint featured all throughout. And then we got the same one on the other side too as well. So for the total of four car garages. And then right in here, you just got a little coat closet. Mm. Let's go ahead and step outside into the main area. So as we step back into the main entrance of the home, we're gonna notice this nice circular design table kind of completing the look of the entryway as we step further in the home. And something else that I think added to the look of the entryway of this home is the two sofas that are featured on either side of the staircases. So they're kind of featured under. They got a nice inviting look of the home. And speaking of inviting guests over, I mean, guys, just take a look at this huge, huge dining table. I mean, this is gonna be your formal dining table. It's gonna be made out of custom drift wood. You got seating for 12 guests, which is absolutely insane. You know, this is a huge home. You're gonna have a lot of people living here, right? And you got your nice succulents featured on top of the table as well, along with this magnificently designed light fixture, super modern, and just really, it matches well with the colors and with the entire front entry of the home. And then something else you're gonna notice is when you're sitting here at this formal dining table, I mean, guys, you got panoramic views of the entire city of San Diego, along with your zero edge pool and your hot tub. 
Stay tuned, we're gonna check out that backyard in just a second, but let's go ahead and step into the kitchen space of this home. You guys are gonna notice that this is a T-shaped center island. It's absolutely massive. This is something that you really don't see in a lot of homes. I personally have never seen uh, this T design before, but you're gonna have seating for six of your guests right here or your family, along with the 12 over at the dining table, along with all the seating that you have right here in your formal living space which is absolutely insane, guys. You have so much seating for everyone in your home. It's crazy. You can throw so many parties in here. You can invite as many people as you want, guys. You got seating outside, upstairs. It's, it's phenomenal. And also something else to notice is that you see the identical light fixture right here that we actually did right over there notice with the formal dining table. And then stepping on over here, we're gonna have your custom six burner wolf design stainless steel stove top along with the oven. And featured right next to this Sticks Burner stove, we notice a stone natural design satin countertop. Really nice because it actually differentiates itself from this traditional granite countertop. So it kind of adds a contrasting look. And then again, we're gonna see the custom stone backsplash, which also does contrast with the other stone used for that countertop. And then you've got the more matching cabinet spaces right there, more with that natural wood and look. And then we're coming on in here, we got your massive Guys, these, these are always my favorite fridges, guys. We got the massive Sub-Zero refrigerator. My God. And then, I mean, you, you have so much space. It's absolutely crazy. Guys, this is just, wow. I'm always, I always love looking at the Sub-Zero refrigerators in here. And then if you didn't think that was enough kitchen, well, we have a second kitchen. So featured here is gonna be the Butler's Pantry. The main purpose of this room is gonna be for the big holiday seasons when you guys have a lot of cooking to do. You're gonna be doing all the dirty work in here. You don't wanna mess up your outdoor kitchen. You wanna do all the work here so your guests see how clean your home is. But in reality, you're just getting this one dirty. It's funny. And then again, you know, you got the same countertops and the same backsplash, which is featured in the last one. You got a nicely sized prep sink. You got the same color cabinets that right down below. It's a good one. Let's head out. Let's go ahead and check out this living space right here real quick and then again you know you're gonna see the same stone countertop along with the custom stone backsplash and then let's head on into the living space I mean just take a look at this guys I'd say each one of these couches probably fit about four of your guests so you got eight here six here another 12 right there you got four more spots over under the stairs you can fit a lot of people here guys my god and then right behind me, you also are gonna notice on uh, the three corners of this living room actually, we have this massive plant life featured right there and then also one right there as well. The main purpose of this plant life is to add kind of to the modern characteristics and the contemporary design that uh, Toll Brothers was looking for. And then something else I really did like about this living space is that you got your custom crystalline designed LED fireplace. So basically what that means is you can light the fire with the turn of the key and then it actually has custom LED lights that were placed inside. So you get to choose what color you want. You can just change it from your phone. It's really cool. It's kind of just gives the ambient lighting. You know, you can make it pink or blue, whatever mood you're feeling. And then again, we got some of the more stone designs right here. Looks super nice. It's beautiful, guys. Wow. Love it. All right. The moment you've all been waiting for, right? Oh, how did I forget? We have another custom driftwood bench space right here. So that adds even more seating for your guests. So guys, you know, I don't know what the total amount you can seat right here, but I mean, I'm probably gonna guess it's around like 40 people you can be seating in here. Absolutely amazing. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and head to the outdoor backyard. Take a look at this guys, oh my God. Again, something you're gonna notice with a lot of these Toll Brothers homes, you got your pocket sliding glass doors. So they're gonna be opening all the way back here. And they all just disappear. Amazing, right? So, I mean, guys, just take a look at this. We got panoramic views of the entire city of San Diego. This backyard is absolutely something else, all right? You've got your zero edge design pool which stretches all the way around the back of the home. And if you didn't think that was enough pool, well, you're in luck because take a look at this. Right here, we have another zero edge hot tub, 
again with the stone seating featured on the inside. Something else you're going to notice is that we have this nice granite finish which is featured around this hot tub. Also, again featured right there around the uh, pool space. And you got the waterfall coming down into the hot tub. You've got your stone walkway. I mean, they completely decked out this backyard, guys. No expenses or details were spared in this one. You got the nice railing, too. I've actually never seen that in a backyard before, but you got the nice railing down the steps. Make sure none of your guests trip and fall, right? And then, you know, we're coming down this walkway again. We've got the, the smooth stones in between each large walkway. And we're going to come down. We got this sunken in living space right here. This is going to be an outdoor relaxation spot. We have benches featured on either side. We've got another nice large fireplace, which is absolutely beautiful. Again, you see the, the natural type of stone that was used in the finishing of that. And I mean, guys, this is just, this is a phenomenal living space. I mean, you can, again, you can probably sit, I'm guessing at least like 10, 12 people right down here, have amazing parties here. You can have as many people as you want here, guys. Invite all your friends over. And just, I mean, all that plant life, fully grown, beautiful, beautiful. We have the dual waterfall. That's incredible. All right, so guys, we noticed this magnificent outdoor pool table. I mean, this backyard's full of absolutely everything, guys. You got your outdoor pool table, and then something else, very noteworthy feature, is this massive outdoor bar area. We're gonna notice, again, that natural type of stone countertop that we did see back on the inside of the home, along with this shelving area. So, you know, what the, what the owner's gonna do is they're gonna put all their alcohol right here. They're gonna put all their drinks, they're gonna flex on all their guests. You see um, seating for nine of your guests, all outdoors. And then you've got full refrigeration done by Sub-Zero. So the same brand that we saw in the refrigerator. And then you got, you know, space to store your wine bottles, all your alcohol. You got your outdoor barbecue area. And then something else that I really liked is your beer taps. So you got beer taps, you got a total of four featured on either side right here. Again, you got your refrigeration, which seamlessly connects to your kegs. Awesome. So let's continue on and let's go ahead and get a closer look at that pool, guys, because that is amazing, right? You got another waterfall right back there. And then you got your pool chairs, guys. You got two on either side. So you got two right here, you got two right here. And let's just take a minute to appreciate this view. I mean, guys, wow. There is an empty lot feature right next to it, but if you were to buy this home right now, you are the corner house at the end of a cul-de-sac, most prime location for a house, by the way. And you have unobstructed views of all of San Diego. I mean, just look at that, guys. That is phenomenal. Wow. You got your golf course view right there as well. Wow. So breathtaking. I, I love it. Incredible. Something else you're going to notice is that glass paneled railing. Incredible. So let's head down here. So we checked out the backyard. Now let's go ahead and see what we got upstairs, right? We'll go ahead and close these up. Heavy doors, guys. Oof. Man. All right, let's go ahead and take a look upstairs, right? So, surrounded by that glass railing, extending up. We got the floating staircase design. So first coming up that floating staircase, we're gonna have the second living room. This is gonna be the informal living room space of this home. And notice a very common element in this room is gonna be wood. So we notice we got the dark wood stained flooring. We got the light wood design, which contrasts featured upon the walls. We have a wooden table in between the seating for four area. We have the shuffleboarding table, again, that smooth wood. And then you got wood on your ceiling as well. So you're gonna notice that same wood ceiling featured right back there is gonna actually extend all the way out here. And right below that wooden ceiling, you're gonna see these large wooden beams that are featured throughout you. So you have three of them that extend all the way to the front of the home. Each beam is gonna feature 14 miniature spotlights, which really add a nice element of light into this home, especially if it's super dark in here and you don't have that natural light coming in like you do right now. 
And then again, guys, just really take a look at that light fixture. I mean, wow, that is really a beautiful chandelier. I love that. It's magnificent. The glass railing is just it's something else. Wow. So we're going to continue on in here. And then, you know, as I was mentioning the wood, we're going to step outside into this outdoor balcony area. And again, you see the wood on the flooring. This time it is going to be transitioning into a different style wood. And then you got the wood shelving right here featured as well, along with some rustic art pieces. And then, personally, I think this might have an even better view than the view we saw in the backyard. That is incredible. Wow. And then, I mean, you can't really overlook the fact that you're looking over your contemporarily modern backyard. I mean, the craftsmanship that went into constructing this backyard is absolutely A1. And I think stepping in this balcony area, you really get an opportunity to appreciate all the craftsmanship that really went into constructing this backyard and then just get to appreciate that view, guys. That view is unlike anything I've ever seen. Wow. Beautiful, guys. Let's step on back inside. Let's take a look at some of the other bedrooms we got in here. Let's head inside here and see what we got. Again, something you may have noticed on the downstairs is that we have the same colored, lightly stained wooden cabinet spaces we saw back in the kitchen. And let's set into the second bedroom of this home. So this is definitely going to be designed as a little girl's room. Maybe if the the owner has some twins, you know, you have spots for each one of them. Really nice storage area for anyone who's living in this room. Let's check inside the bathroom space. So, bathroom en suite, as you can see. And then you got the bathtub shower combination, again with some nice like ocean style tiling. And then you got some of the more lightly stained wooden cabinet spaces along this custom granite countertop. Another feature you'll notice about this room, you've got full walk-in closet space, enough storage for plenty of clothing uh, for both of the girls that'll be living in here. That's super nice feature. And again, you kind of got your ocean motif artwork. We are close by the beach here in San Diego. So stepping into the third bedroom of this home, we're going to notice that this is going to be designed for a child's bedroom. So we have the baby crib right there. And then you're going to notice the two light fixtures featured above. They're going to be kind of like a steampunk design, which I thought looked Kind of cool for this room. You got some of the nice floating shelving right above there. And then we're gonna come into the bathroom again. Just like the last bedroom that we saw, it is gonna be the bathtub shower combination along with some nice uh, wooden stone featured throughout. And then again, coming in, we have uh, another full walk-in closet. So a lot of space, a lot of space, super nice, right? And I mean, guys, this glass railing is just, it's my favorite. This spot right here, you get to check out your entire home. You can see how beautiful of a home that you live in. I mean, this is the goal right here. This is, this is one of my dream houses. This is probably one of the best houses we toured here on the channel. Love it. So coming up to the fourth bedroom of this home, we're going to notice a nice sophisticated design. So this is going to be more for the teenager, the young adult that's living at this home. And first stepping in, we're going to notice kind of the flushed mounted TV. We got some cabinetry featured down below along with the shelving unit above. As we further step in, we have a, it's definitely one of the most interesting ceiling fans I've seen. That's pretty, that's, that's cool. I like that. And then again, you kind of got the rustic design. I mean, we got the geared wallpaper. We got some of this, you know, rustically designed dresser spaces and nightstands. And then as we head into the bathroom space, we're going to notice a transition from the dark stained wood over into the dark tile. So we got the glass enclosed shower space right here. We got some different type of tiling featured on the bottom, along with the smooth white tile featured on the wall. We got the custom granite countertop again. And then something else I did really like, got the transition from the hardwood into the carpet right here. Again, another full walk-in closet space. So again, plenty of room for all your clothes. Amazing. Then guys, come on. You couldn't notice we got the PS5 right here, guys. Look at that. I don't know if that's a PS5, but... Oh. Don't look at that. PS5, pre-order. Link down in the description. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, follow me down this openly designed hallway, and let's go ahead into the master bedroom of this area. So, on my left-hand side, we are going to see the designated washer-dryer space. And something very neat about this master bedroom is that it has a wraparound design. So, if you follow me down this laundry room, we're going to head into the closet space, 
and it actually wraps around into the traditional master bedroom. So first step in here, we're going to notice the very large closet space. Again, guys, you're going to see the triple mirror right here. So there's absolutely perfect spots for getting ready before going to any large party or any large events. And you have plenty of shelving for absolutely all of your clothing items. I mean, you have you have clothing racks absolutely everywhere. If you thought those walk-in closets over in the other bedrooms were big, guys, this closet is huge. Again, you actually have a nice center island with a more of that custom granite that we did see in some of those other bathroom spaces. Again, these drawers are gonna be featured for storing all your jewelry, storing all you know, your miscellaneous accessories that you don't wanna have hanging up and stuff like that. Another great feature though, glass shelving. Look at that glass shelving, guys. Take a look at that. It's beautiful. Now we're gonna head inside here and we have this absolutely huge master spa area. So we're gonna notice, I mean, you've got dual shower heads featured inside that shower. We've got that custom marble design, which is actually featured around the entire bathroom space. So we have, I mean, you see the marble right here. You actually do see the marble featured right behind the mirrors on the dual vanities on either side. Again, you're gonna have the same type of sink that we did see in the guest bedroom downstairs. You have this very large freestanding tub So a great feature about this shower space is that when you first walk in, you're greeted again with those massive slabs of marble that are featured, you know, on the flooring, also on the walls. And you got the dual shower heads featured right inside. Very great feature. I like how they're both, they both have separate temperatures. So, you know, one of them could be cold, one of them could be warm. That's pretty cool. All right, now let's continue on. Some more of the lightly stained wooden cabinetry, some abstract artwork as we set foot into the master bedroom space. So something you notice as you first step out of the bathroom and into the master bedroom is that we have a very nice decanter right here, which could be transformed into a dry bar if the owner desires. Again, we got some more of the floating shelving, which is surrounded by lightly stained wood, which is perfect for storing plenty of the owner's items. And something you may have noticed, why isn't there a mounted TV right there? Well, great question, because that mounted TV is actually gonna be featured in the informal living room, which is gonna be wrapped around right over there. But we'll take a look at that in a second but I wanna just kinda of highlight the floating shelves right here, and then again with those separated light fixtures featured in every single column of the shelves. I thought that added a really nice kinda of luxurious look to this master bedroom. So something again you're gonna notice featured right above this main seating area is that we have a large shaded light fixture. Again, you notice that shaded light fixture featured right there and right there, which really brings in like a relaxed type of mood to this room, which I thought it looked really nice, right? I like that. And then, Let's step inside this informal living space. And this is where you're gonna find your mounted TV space. Again, with another one of these shaded light fixtures. You've got a very nice sofa, which you can fit up to like four or five people, which is really nice. And then guys, just take a look at that view that you have from out here. That's personally probably one of my most favorite elements of this home is the views. Absolutely stunning views of the entire city, the hillsides, it's beautiful. And then you also notice some of the large plant life featured in this room, kind of giving it a nice contrast, kind of tying up the whole room together. Again, you got the marble designed top of the table right there. Very beautiful. And you got a designated desk area. So this is gonna be a perfect spot for a, a little indoor office because we actually didn't see an indoor office in this home. So this is gonna be a nice little spot for doing some work, closing deals, whatever the owner does to make a living to live here. They're closing deals, they're they're doing their work right here. And I mean, guys, you're doing your work here and you're looking at your magnificent view. I mean, what more could you ask for, guys, right? Absolutely phenomenal, right? I just love it. Absolutely beautiful, right? If you guys stuck around for this entire home tour, I wanted to say thank you so much. If you haven't already make sure to smash that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit the notification bell leave a comment down below as well let me know what you thought of this insane home guys this home is this is probably one of the most beautiful ones here in san diego right this is absolutely beautiful just i love it so much right so if you stuck around thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week on another luxury home tour see you later